he's late again. Hi. I'm sorry I'm late. Where were you? Swimming. You look um, really dry. Uh, what's this week's lab about? And you didn't read the lab either? No. Well, today we're going to do lab seven, invertebrates or simple animals. In lab seven, we'll be learning about five phyla. Do you remember as a kid going to camp and singing songs like 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer, you take one off, you pass it around, 98 bottles of beer on the wall? Well, in order to remember the five phyla in lab seven, I remember camp. The C stands for an idea. That would be your jellyfish. The A stands for annelida. These are segmented worms like earthworms. The M is mollusca. This would be octopus or mussels or clams. The first P is perfra. These are your sponges. And the last P is platyhelamentes. These are your flatworms. So, remember, the five fella, camp, like you're going to camp, like you were a kid again. Now we're going to learn about symmetry. In a body plan of an animal, there are three types of symmetry that it may have. The first is asymmetry, meaning that there is no symmetry. If you cut this in any shape, in any way, you will never have two halves that are exactly the same. An example of this are the periphera that you will be looking at today. The second symmetry is bilateral. Bilateral means if I cut this right down the middle, your two halves will be mere images of each other. An example of this is annelida, our segmented worms. The last type of symmetry is radial symmetry. If I cut this, I can cut this orange five ways and I will have mirror images of each half. The first is right down the center. I get two halves that are identically, that are identical. The second is horizontally. Again, two halves that are identical. You can then cut it on both the diagonals. And at the end of it, you will have eight identical halves. An example of this are the jellyfish. Next, we're going to learn about the body plans of these simple animals. There are two types of body plans. The first is diploblastic. Diplo meaning two. The first one is your ectoderm. This is your outer layer. And the second one being endoderm. This is the inner layer. The second body plan is triploblastic. Tri meaning three. Again, your outer layer is your ectoderm. The yellow part, your inner layer, is the endoderm. And the striped part is your mesoderm. As Alex just mentioned, there are two different body plans in animals, diploblastic and triploblastic. Triploblastic meaning three layers. Your ectoderm, which makes your skin, mesoderm, the muscles, and endoderm is your digestive tract. Triploblastic animals have one of three different body cavities. The body cavity can be air-filled or fluid-filled, and it is called a coelom. If a triploblastic animal lacks a coelom, it is called acelomate, meaning without a coelom. In this case, there's just the ectoderm, the mesoderm, and then the endoderm, which makes your gut. Moving on, you then have a pseudocelum. Pseudocelum meaning false. It is called a false coelom because traditionally the coelom is surrounded by mesoderm on both sides as we will see in a little while. 
In a pseudocoelom, you have the ectoderm, you have the mesoderm, followed by the fluid-filled or air-filled cavity called the coelom, and then the endoderm. So again, pseudocoelom because the coelom is surrounded by mesoderm and endoderm. As I mentioned earlier, you have the coelomate, true coelums. In this case, you have the ectoderm followed by the mesoderm. You then have the fluid-filled or air-filled cavity. Again, another layer of mesoderm before you reach the endoderm or gut tissue. There are several ways in which animals develop. If you look at our nidaria, our jellyfish, their digestive tract has the mouth and the anus at the same position. Yes, that's right. They eat and poop out of the same hole. The other way is just like us, where the mouth is at one end and the anus is at the other end. There are two ways this can form. The first way is the development of the mouth. That's right, the mouth forms first. This is known as protostome. The second way is, this time, the anus forms, forms first. Yes, that's right, I said anus. Anus, anus, anus. These are your deuterostomes. Come on, guess which one we are. Guess, please guess. That's right, we're the anus. Congratulations, you started off as a butthole. So, it's important to remember that there are two forms. Two ways this could have developed. The protostomes, which is the mouth develops first, or the deuterostomes, where the anus develops first, which is us. Okay guys, that's lab seven, and vertebrates one, simple animals. And now you can go back to the pool. <laughs> See you in lab. <laughs>